Hey everybody, welcome to my first screencast. Um, I've been looking for a way to do some compositing and preferably open source. And um, so I used to I used to mess around with this program called Ultra, but it's uh, Windows only, and I don't run Windows anymore. I haven't for since uh, um, Linux Mint KDE. Four, Darnia, <coughs> and uh, now I'm running Mint Eight KDE. But this program, which this is an example of right here, it it used a uh, vector keying, which allows you to select multiple points in the green area or blue area, whichever backdrop you're using, and. Uh, If I could find something like that and, uh, that I can use on Linux, I would, even if it's proprietary, I'd buy it. But, uh, but I'm, I'm not going back to Windows. As you can see with this, even looking through this veil, you don't see any green glow. Um, clear liquids and water and uh, like even the lightest wisp of hair blowing in the wind. It, it's just perfect. Um, all the open source things fall short of that. And, and people compare and say, well, yeah, I would never leave Windows because, you know, you can't run Sony Vegas or or Premiere. Well, you know what? I've seen the same exact problems with uh, with Sony Vegas, Premiere, and, and many others. Now, I was going to compare Caden Live to OpenShot, but OpenShot just, for some reason, just quit working. Um, doesn't really matter because OpenShot was going to lose. Anyway, with Caden Live, I have an example, like preloaded in here, where I I picked this clip up off of uh, off of YouTube. It's a EA Sports uh, channel, I believe. But a uh, little green screen clip that they had on there, and I added it to a movie intro, and uh, give me it example of, you can see here now if if you look close you can see a lot of pixelized pixel you know the green pixels showing behind when you look at it close up um, it's very hard to get rid of that in in this uh, in this program so personally I don't think it's uh, it's up to snuff. I mean, if you go to your clips, if you go to your uh, to your uh, effects, and this is all you have. You have this little slider for for a variation. You go too far, and then you start missing parts of the subject. You don't go far enough, and then you got major green glow. So it's uh, it's good for quick and dirty jobs but uh, nothing serious now for typical video editing it's it's fantastic but what I'm looking for is a, you know an open source compositor and uh, so my other alternative was Sinalera I've run Sinalera before and always had problems with it. It was very buggy and uh, very bad performance. Um, now running Min Linux Mint 8, uh, it's so much better. And I have a similar example here. And you can see it's a much cleaner key. I mean, if you zoom in you can see that there's still there's still a little bit of artifacts around the edges, but that's pretty much due to to the key itself. I mean, because if you if you turn the effect off, which I have two different settings here, if I turn that off and you look, that's still there. Now, if you come down here and we look at the there's two different 
there's a chroma key and then there's a chroma key HSV and these are your settings has uh, has a couple of sliders and now if you if you go into here you use a color picker and you can pick your your thing if you go in here you have a few sliders to get your color value but that's all you get is color value so that's already got more control than Caden Live now we look at the the HSV chroma key and uh, and you can see that you have your tolerance you have your brightnesses saturation you have uh, you have different uh, mask settings or slope in and out alpha offset spill control this is like one of the most important things when you're doing this type of stuff is the spill is that green that you see and you can't get rid of so with the spill control you can you can pretty much uh, you can get quite a bit of that out but there's so many different settings that you can mess with now I did want to try I did want to try lives but it crashes but even more so the biggest problem I had with it I load a clip in and for the sake of this one I'll use a uh, I'll use a DV file because it loads a lot faster Okay. Now, there's the multi track mode. The multi track mode, you're supposed to be able to take your clips and drag them into the timeline. And that's where you apply your real time effects. But now it's saying down here on the bottom that I, in fact, did drag it into the timeline but it's not here I have nothing to manipulate so but if you can't if you can't run it then you know it's worthless so no well, that's what I got to say about that um, I want to do a little more in-depth down the line I want to start reviewing some open source alternatives to the programs people keep saying they can't leave windows because they can't live without so uh, thanks for watching and watch my next video when it comes out so, all right thanks bye